What's going on guys, Yearing with Hardy Tech, welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egg Lock Run. You may notice something a little different about the team over on the side, that is that we now have Nikki the Smoochum with us, and I decided to bring this, look at that special attack, my my. Is that actually, I, I, I don't actually know, if, okay, yeah, maybe that's not as high as I thought, but, I, I, anyways. So I decided to bring on Nikki, because we're going to be going to take on Koga, and we could definitely use a Psychic type, and someone pointed out in the comments to keep... Nikki until level 45 when it gets psychic because Jinx doesn't learn psychic by level up. When I saw that, I'm like, what? What? No. But, yeah, no, apparently that's true. So, um, that made me sad. <laughs> that, oh, that really surprised me, first off, that Jinx doesn't learn psychic. And I don't know what I'm going to do with the psychic TM. I might end up giving it to Lapras. I'll probably wait until I get to Fuchsia and then I'll decide because if I don't, because I'm not going to have G Smoochum up to level 45 by the time we take on Koga because that would be way over leveled. So I may just end up evolving her into Jinx and then teaching her Psychic via TM. I don't know. I haven't decided. We will decide once we get to Fuchsia, but today we're going to be making our way to Fuchsia City and to start off we're going to be taking on this giant Snorlax who we cannot catch because instead of trying to catch Snorlax, we instead, I believe, tried to catch a Doduo which our now dead Charcoal killed. So hopefully the Snorlax doesn't give us too much trouble. I know Snorlaxes are bulky as poop. Okay, it looks like we should be able to two-shot it and uh, if this goes well... This Brick Break will kill it. We will not fall asleep, meaning we won't have to go back to the Pokemon Center. And it's dead. Okay. Fantastic. We actually can catch the other Snorlax on the other side of, um, on the other, the other area that I can't remember right now. So, that will be exciting. We can go get that level 30 Pokemon. I don't know if we're going to... Oh, I never got the Bike Voucher. Wow. That stupidity. Okay, um, so... Speaking of other... Actually, you know what? We might just go take it on right now since we might just go try to catch it right now because we haven't caught a Pokemon on that. I think that's Route 11. So that would be a new area. We can get a level 30 Pokemon, which would be amazing. Um, before we do that, because I will forget, let's go take care of the bike voucher because I am a stupid little guy and I, I just... I will forget that is like the entire focus. And I'll probably get some Ultra Balls... Uh, I don't know. I haven't decided. So, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You like Rapid Ashes. You want to rape Rapid Ashes. That's cool, bro. Do whatever you want. Just in your own place. I don't care. As long as it's behind locked doors, I really don't care what you do. So, and then he starts talking about his Fearos. So, you know how in the last episode, we got a little freaky with the whole uh, Erica Brock thing? This time, it's Nine Tails and Fearow. Or, um, Rapid Ash and Fero. That's today's lesson for you guys. Rapidash X Fero. Let's do this, okay? Actually, you know what? Let's get through a video where we don't request porn because that's a little weird. Uh, and I was actually, I kind of wish I was disappointed by how many people actually sent me links to Poke Porn. I really wish I was disappointed, but I'm not that surprised. Okay, so I think the only place we can get Ultra Balls right now is actually in Celadon. So we will go there and we will go Ultra Shopping and. I, I am worried about if we can catch this thing, because if it starts doing a lot of damage to my team, I'll probably just run away, because I... Wow, wait, what? Can we not get Ultra Balls? What? What? No, that's a lie. I know you can... Oh, okay, apparently you can't. Um, I might just start stocking up on my money, because I know we can get the Amulet Coin when we get to Fuchsia, and uh, a TM for, like, Thunderbolt, Fire flamethrower or ice beam is eighty thousand dollars so yeah that's a lot of money but with the amulet coin it actually accumulates somewhat fast so we should be able to get it somewhat decently now these six trainers are probably one of the most popular grinding spots like in the game i know a lot of the times when i was doing my fire red nose lock this is where i came to grind a lot of the time so it's such a good spot and so when we end up doing some grinding, do, don't be surprised if you end up seeing me here because, like I said, it's just such an amazing spot and Nikki will get such use here. Uh, I would not be surprised if Nikki's like level, uh, I would say 27 or 28 by the time we take on these trainers. So, I know one of these guys is like a level 33 Weezing and you really need to be careful from them because they will mess you up. I did not mean to sing. Oh god, no. 
Oh god, no. Okay. Okay, let's just not do that again. Let's switch Singing Confusion, because I can guarantee I'm going to make that mistake. The one bad thing about Samuchum is it has absolutely horrible special or er, um, physical defense. Like, it is beyond wow. Oh god, wow. Oh, no! Okay, that plan didn't work. <laughs> wow, I just said it has horrible special or physical defense, and okay, that was that was probably my own fault. Um, I really should have saw that coming. Okay, well, yeah, I'm sorry. I am really sorry. I. I should have known that would happen. I I was expecting him to go for Seismic Toss, because like, every time I faced these matchups when I was grinding, uh, they always went for Seismic Toss for some reason. But nope, he went for Karate Chop, so that was unexpected. Well, I'm sorry I didn't react more to Smoochum dying, but considering I literally just started using it, I'm not exact... I didn't really get a chance to get attached to it, so... I mean, you know, it's like, yeah, whatever. So... Let's bring along... I don't... I'm not sure if I want to bring along Redwood. Because he's not exactly going to be useful in the near future. I mean, is he even going to... I don't even know, like, when the next time he's going to be useful. The only thing he does is give us coverage on water types. And... We're not exactly having a lot of water type fights coming up. So, I'm thinking... Um... I'm thinking... Jolteon could be a good one to start training up. But I don't... I don't know. I guess... We could um Bako is so is the option to finally start training him. Angel is never gonna be used, so oh whoever sent an angel might just want to give up that dream. Yeah, um let's go with let's go with Jolteon. It's just level five. It'll be real easy to start training him up. I don't know if we'll have enough at Pokemon to get the EXP share. I don't know if we've had fifty have we had fifty species yet? We've had um, 31 Kanto, 51 in a National, but I don't know if that just counts National Pokedex or not, because if it does, that might be problematic, because then we'll still have 30 Pokemon to go. But there's always the case where I can just go catch some more Pokemon, and some more Kanto Pokemon, and we'll just pretend that never happened, you know, I'll release them afterwards. I think that's what I did in Fire Red Omega, is when I was trying to get the EXP share, I just ended up going around and catching and evolving a bunch of Pokemon. And then I just like deleted them afterwards, pretend they never existed, because I just needed to use them in order to get uh, the EXP share. So, in a sense, it was cheating, but nobody really cared. Wow, that didn't do a lot. I forget how freaking bulky Weezings are. Okay, wow, Ice Beam, how did Ice Beam Water Pulse do almost? I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew I would get poisoned! I knew it! Every time I face a Weezing, I get poisoned. Okay, so that should give Chewitz a few levels. Eight. How many can we go? Sand attack? Uh, no. <laughs> can we go level nine? No! Okay, we stopped level eight. I'm surprised we only got three levels, to be honest. I thought we would've got more than that. But, as long as we keep switch training, I would not be surprised if Jolteon is, like, up near the rest of them by the time we get done with this route. Assuming we take on all the trainers, which actually probably isn't that likely. Um, maybe I should probably start using Moon for this, because I don't... I don't know. Poison. Oh, wow. That did nothing. We are so underleveled right now. People were telling me I was underleveled in the last video because they, they're like, oh, I was like level 36 by the time I took on Erica. And part of me like, well, that's extremely overleveled. But now I'm starting to realize, like, the wild trainers are like four levels higher than us. So that's probably not a good thing. That's probably a very, very bad thing. And that probably means my Pokemon might die. I don't like that, so I'm definitely, I've decided once we get to Fuchsia, assuming we survive and reach Fuchsia, definitely going to be having a grinding, definitely going to be having story time, so I think a lot of you guys have been waiting for story time, because I have such a long list of stories to tell, as well as like, I, I can only think of one story of my own to tell at the moment, but hopefully you guys will enjoy that as well, and you know, at least this clears up my whole dilemma about Psychic, what I was going to do with that TM, because I really was kind of... Okay, you want to maybe kill this thing today, Moon? Thank you. Okay, bye. Thanks. Awesome. Good job. Uh, oh, good job, Chewitz. I actually don't know when Chewitz learns any new moves. I want to think Chewitz, like, doesn't even get Thunderbolt. But 
I, I know if I say that, I will be wrong, so I will look up um, Jolteon's moveset. No need to worry. And I think I'm going to save these guys for a little later because they're kind of scaring me at the moment. I know this guy right here, like, he just has, like, level 24 Mankeys and stuff, so not exactly challenging, but I'd still rather be careful. Um, anyways, while we're traversing this route... Oh, God, you're such a high level! So, we're so underleveled right now. How could there be such a huge level spike? I mean, the... You'd think, like, typically the gym leader, like, right before a route would be higher than the Pokemon on the next route, but, yeah, no, that's... Oh, actually, I just remembered, this is a new route, so we can catch Pokemon here. I would have just gone right on by, and now I remembered, so if I remember correctly, we can actually get three Pokemon by the time we get to Fuchsia, including, um, Lavender Town? Or, not including Safari Zone, and I think we can actually get one on the route below the Safari Zone, or below Fuchsia, so... We can get like four Pokemon this video, so where is the grass? I think we passed the grass actually. I believe it is up here, so let's circle all around. Yep, okay, here it is. Let's see if we can catch anything. I hope we still have Pokeballs, because I just kind of realized we may be out of them. And a level 44 Pokemon is what we're going to... 24, not 44, is what we're going to get. Let's switch into Jimmy, because I think, I think this thing will be able to take uh, an Ember. Hopeful. Wow, really? How does a fire type get frozen? It, it, it just, it, it, it doesn't make sense. I, I'm fire. I, I'm literally. Oh, fury attack is such a scary move, actually. Okay, you wanna? Okay, you wanna maybe defrost? Yep, there you go. <gasps> Don't use tri attack. Don't use tri attack. Okay, I just realized if he used tri attack, it probably would have killed us. So, thumbs up for being dumb. Why is it not using tri attack? Actually, that would be a really good move on its part. Either way, it lived perfectly after the embers, so we should be able to catch it. One, two, three, and awesome. So Doduo will be our first hatch once we get to Fuchsia. And no, I'm not going to nickname it. Anyways, I believe I was about to tell a story. I don't remember if I was or not. Anyways, so yesterday, or actually a while back, not, well, this story does take place yesterday, but there's a story to lead up to the story. And I don't know what am I supposed to do against a level 33 bat joke? Oh god. He's like. Moon's like my only option because he resists fighting. And he has Peck. I would use Nikestro, but I'm pretty sure Nikestro probably like wouldn't take uh, a karate chop very well. Oh, that's gonna do a lot. That did a lot. Okay, we can take another one of those. As long, um, yep, and then we're gonna have to super potion. As long as he doesn't get a crit. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We're so underleveled. I don't know how we're even supposed to make it to Fuchsia at this point. Seismic Toss. That's what I was expecting that other Machoke to do. Okay. That's cool. We're obviously just never going to beat this guy. So, uh, we can take... Oh, Poison. Fantastic. I don't think I've ever been so happy to have Poison Point before. And the pet killed it. Okay. So, back to the story if I can actually try to tell it today. Um, a few weeks ago... Rusty had gotten these Pokemon stickers, and she gave me, and she ended up getting a Butterfree sticker out of it, and she gave it to me, because she's just the coolest friend ever, and she told me where I can get these stickers, and so I'm like, well, pff, I totally gotta go get some of these stickers now, and we will continue the story in a second, let's focus on catching a Pokemon, I, I promise this story is worth it, it's another level 24 Doduo, okay, well, now we know that Doduo can live in Ember, um, so, Fury Attack, we know Jimmy could probably live a Fury Attack, hopefully, maybe, if it doesn't hit like 500,000 times, and we know at this rate we will be able to, wow, you have dealt with a lot more, I was gonna say we'll be able to live a Tri Attack, and then he just happens to use Tri Attack, so, I'm a little scared of Doduo, I don't think anyone said that before, they're scared of a, du du of a Doduo, so, that's the first time I said it, Doduos are way too popular on the, uh, on the western side of Kanto, because this is the third straight catch in a row that's like been a Doduo. You know, on, on the route above Celadon was a Doduo, on the route we were just on was a Doduo, on this one it's a Doduo. What is with the extreme amount of Doduos here? I'm extremely curious. The good thing is there's virtually no way we're getting a Doduo in the Safari Zone, and if we somehow fish out a Doduo, I'm, I'm gonna be a little fishy. That's gonna be a little fishy if you know what I mean. Anyways, so back to the story. Um, 
Rusty giving me some Butterfree stickers, and she told me where I could get the stickers. So yesterday, me and my mom were actually in the store where you get the stickers, and my mom's like, do you want anything? And I'm like, oh my god, yes, get me these stickers. And it's like this little pack of stickers, we get ten of them for a dollar, and I was just like, I need these stickers, mom. So she ended up... She, she, when I told her I wanted a sticker, she just gave me like this most disappointing look I've ever seen. Like, you were just a failure to me, son. Because I, her 18-year-old son wanted Pokemon stickers. I don't see anything wrong with that, but pff, what do I know? Um, what, what am I doing? Oh, right. I need to get an egg. I can't just put you in here. So, we get up to the register, and the lady, the cashier's like, oh, are these yours? Because apparently people, like little kids, will like take the stickers and like just put them on a cashier when they put them on the counter when I can't get them and my mom's like oh yeah they're my sons and everyone she's like oh yeah kids like to collect these things and my mom's like yeah apparently teenagers do too and pretty much like five people at the surrounding registers all just kind of like looked over and just stared at me and were laughing and it was it was very humiliating and I, hopefully it was worth it because I'm kind of on a hunt for a Caterpie sticker and if you're curious I'm actually gonna be vlogging myself opening these stickers so it's kind of be gonna it's kind of gonna be like a card opening but sticker opening instead that will be over on Team Caterpie my vlog channel link is always in the description if you're curious and our first hatch is another Heracross awesome okay we're gonna nickname you um I'm going to nickname you you know what I'm gonna nickname you Keith. I don't know why, but yeah, that is your name now. Okay, and let's see if he's A-OK. -okay. Taco, Lear, Flail, sounds about right to me. Anyways, we will heat level this guy up, so one second. Okay, so our Heracross is now, our second Heracross is now level 24 with Taco, Fury Attack, Brick Break, and Horn Break, and Horn Attack, so the good news about this is that if Sipper dies, we pretty much automatically know who his replacement's gonna be. And out of curiosity, I uh, I kind of want to compare these two and see just you know what's going on between them. So let's put them right next to each other. Let's put Sipper down. Let's look at our Sipper here, who is uh, attack is 80. One, Sipper's only one level higher, by the way. Uh, who has an adamant nature, which boosts attack. Is attack 80 and defense. Yeah, you can see his stats. And there you have level 24, who is also adamant nature, and 78 attacks. So, for those of you who seem to think that EVs are such a huge deal and that using rare candies makes your Pokemon weaker, this Heracross was used nothing but rare candies, it's just one level lower, and its attack stat is almost exactly the same. So, yes, its Zipper's speed stat is a lot higher, I will, I will give you some benefit there, but... Wait, I mean... I blame that probably on IVs because look at this one's special defense is way higher and just yeah so EVs for those of you who think me using rare candies makes my Pokemon weaker you're kind of stupid I'm sorry but yeah anyways let's go get our sipper back and let's go hatch our next Pokemon which will once again be a level 24 Pokemon so I don't know what I'm kind of wanting looking hoping for because I actually think I have like a really good team right now I'm happy with how my team is I have good Pokemon in a box to back me up I really don't need any new types you know now that I got both the grass and an electric type I'm really rather happy I could definitely use a psychic type um, considering I pretty much have like nothing to do against wheezing and coughings and I absolutely ruined my chance with <laughs> I feel so stupid for what happened with Smoochum because I was literally talking about how bad Smoochum's physical attack is and physical defense is and then I put him out against physical attacker so that was my bad and it's another fire type it's another Cyndaquil okay I'm gonna nickname you um I'm gonna nickname you uh let's go with back to my awesome strategy of just typing in random letters you're gonna be Alio, what? That's not even a word. I'm gonna nickname you Arrow Aeroline. Oh, it's actually female, so that kind of sounds female-ish. Let's see if this one has anything interesting, because I don't think our other Cyndaquil did. This one is Tackle, Leer, and Flame Wheel. Okay, that's cool. Anyways, we're gonna rare candy him up just like we did before, so one second. Okay, so he's now level 24. He's a Kuava. He's kind of amazing. He, I think the only move he learned was like quick attack. So, um, yeah. 
So we now have two koalas, we now have two Heracrosses, we now just have... Just, we, yeah, we just pretty much have like two Pokemon, so... That's cool. Anyways, let's go get our Jolteon, and then we will go on the, off to the Safari Zone, and I believe we could also go... Fishing. But before that, I should probably get some Pokeballs, because I'm pretty sure I'm running relatively low on those. And maybe it's start time we upgrade to Great Balls, because we are getting to that point in the game where... Pokemon might start. Oh, okay. You can get Ultra Balls here. Why? Why not? Yeah, of course. I'm only gonna get some Great Balls for now. I'm just gonna get ten of them because I can't imagine whatever we're gonna end up fishing out is gonna be like the most powerful. Actually, I might wait on this lower route until we can surf. Um, that way we can get a higher level Pokemon because all we can get all right now. I could go get the Super Rod. I actually don't remember if you get the Super Rod or the Good Rod here. Um, let's see. I don't. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I just remember we can actually get a Pokemon of Fuchsia as well. We can um, fish a Pokemon right out right here in Fuchsia. So, we just have a ton of Pokemon we can get. Man. Because I know you can fish out of this water. Because I remember when I was younger, I fished a Goldeen out. And I was like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. I love Goldeen. Which actually is a lie. I'm not a big fan of Goldeen. But that part is irrelevant. And speaking of... Okay, wow. It's level 7. Screw me. Okay. That figures. <laughs> I was like, wow, we might actually get a good level Pokemon. I didn't realize a good rod still got you freaking level 7 Pokemon. That apparently still manages to break out of your great ball at level 7. Alright, well, I'm definitely not going fishing again until we get the Super Rod. Well, I don't know when we'll get the Super Rod. we probably do that next route. Next episode, we'll probably go from Vermilion and work our way back down to Fuchsia to get some more training in. So... And along the way, we'll get the Super Rod, and we can do a bunch of fishing, and get high-level Pokemon, and make a lot of friends, and kill a bunch of birds, and it'll just be so much fun. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Look forward to that. And let's go into Safari Zone, and once we do that, we'll go hatch our new Pokemon, and we'll call it a, a day. Because pretty much all that's left to do now is grinding. And boy, my God, I'm looking so much forward to that. And uh, we'll probably... Actually, we're going to go all the way through the Safari Zone, because I do want to get Surf and Strength, so... Someone was asking if I'm going to do like the Safari Zone clause, clause where apparently like every area is a new Pokemon. No, we're just going to have the first Pokemon we encounter, which is a level 31. Yes. Pokemon, please stay in the ball. I really, really could use a Pokemon that level. One. No, don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Don't run away. Be my friend. I really, I never remember how the Safari stuff think works. I think if you throw rockets, it's more likely to flee, but it's easier to catch. And if you throw bait, it's easier. No! Ah! Basically, if you throw bait, it's harder to catch, but it's less likely to flee. So, that's how that works. That's the one thing I really dislike about the Safari Zone, is you can get screwed over. So, wow, Pinsir, really. That's cool. I could have... Well, I just remembered I wouldn't have been able to use it anyways, but... That would have been cool to have. Say, hey, I got a Pinsir. So cool. Um, But, yeah, anyways, so... Can we make it? No, nope, we're not going to make it through here. I kind of want to use Repel, but one, I don't think you actually can use Repels in the Safari Zone. Uh, which, well, if you can, I'd just be incredibly stupid because it ruins the entire point of the Safari Zone. And I I can never remember the puzzle of this place. Last time, funny story. I No, no, I didn't mean to throw the Pokeball. Don't you stay in that ball. Don't you stay in that ball. Good boy. Good boy. Um, I actually ended up tweeting about this, and when I was doing my Fire Red Nuzlocke, I was in the Safari Zone, and when I was going to get the Warden's Teeth, I was one step away. Like, literally, I was standing in front of the Pokeball. I was, son of a poop! Stop pressing ball. Don't you stay in that ball. Don't you stay in that ball. Um, I was literally touching the Pokeball, and before I could press A, like, the step where I got to it, I ran out of steps, and it kicked me out of the place. I was just so angry after that happened. I mean, like, what are we, what are the odds of that happening? What are the odds of running out right when you reach it? That was just, like, here, I was, I was literally standing right here. Right when I reached this spot, I ran out of steps, and it just, it broke my heart so much. Anyways, I don't remember what this item is. Oh, double team? Okay, yeah, you're never gonna get used. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. He will give us one, probably, in my opinion, the best HM in the game, which is Surf, so... And now we'll also be able to go give the gold teeth to the old dude, and we'll be able to get strength, and minion will get yet another move. So let's just waste the rest of our steps now, and let's get out of this place. 212 steps to go. Okay, that's fantastic. I think I might just 
pause and then we'll just end up out of here so yeah that seems like a good idea okay okay so I don't remember if I actually like finished that story about the Pokemon stickers but yeah pretty much everybody was like laughing at me and making me feel like a horrible person because I wanted Pokemon stickers and even my own mom was mocking me so that's always nice but uh, in the end I have not actually opened the stickers yet. I, I don't know when I'm going to record that. I've been post being lazy, but I will make a vlog of it. Uh, me opening the stickers, looking for my Caterpie. So if you're interested, that will be over on Team Caterpie. Let's take this egg. Someone actually asked me like why I'm not taking the Pokemon in order. And because that, I don't know, that seems stupid to take the Pokemon in order. And I don't wish to do that. So, oh, that's right. I didn't catch something in the Safari Zone. Sad face. Alright, well, whatever we hatch here, while we're going to hatch this Pokemon, let's go give the old teeth to, to the gold guy, and did I just, I, I don't even know what I just said. Anyways, he's going to give us strength, and I believe there's a rare candy in this rock over here, or behind this rock, that's a rare candy, and you can probably tell how much I care about that rare candy, because I just walked away from it, so, yay, rare candies, and let's go hatch, are we going to hatch this Pokemon, maybe, because, there we go. Hopefully it's a legal Pokemon. Hopefully it's... I don't actually know what can be useful. Psychic type's all I can ask for. <gasps> You're a Psychic type! Oh! Wow! Did not see that one coming. Okay. Yes. Um, Beldum. That's actually really awesome. Um, I'm gonna nickname you... Um... Okay. I'm gonna go with another random nickname. Let's go with... Whoa... Whoa... We... Wallakin. Yeah. Oh, psychic type. And and he's immune to poison. Oh my god, this is like the perfect thing to get right before Koga. And he has nothing but takedown! Yay! And he's only gonna be level 7. Alright, so I think this guy might have just found himself a place on the team for a little while. Even though he's level 7, it's gonna take a ton of training. And actually, before I forget, we should go see if we can get the um, EXP share. So... We will do that, and then, finally, that'll call it a day. So, I believe he's up here. Please tell... Okay, no, he's on the other... Wait a minute. I would have swore he was sitting right there. Because I know there was one here, and I thought the one on the other side gave you the amulet coin. But, maybe I'm just confused. Maybe the EXP share guy is just over here, and I'm just incredibly stupid. Because, I... I don't know. I'm confused. Either way, here's the aid. Give me, give me my thing. Yeah, yeah, come on, give me it. Please, please tell me I don't have to just have Kanto Pokemon. Oh, you bitch. Okay. Well, um, during the grinding, I will go catch some Pokemon in the Safari Zone or whatever. I will release them afterwards, I promise, to get my Pokemon to level 50. To get my counter to level 50 so we can get the XP share, then I can grind. So, will we have some stories next video? So, that should be entertaining. I have a story of my own as well as some subscriber stories to tell. Thank you guys for watching. Um... Last time I asked you guys for like 268 comments just for a joke, and we ended up getting like 400, or not comments, likes, and we ended up getting like 400 likes, so I'm going to challenge you guys, let's do that again. 400 likes on this video, can you guys do it? We'll find out, thank you for watching, until then, I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo.